The Bundesliga's highest foreign goal scorer, a Bayern Munich legend and a Blackburn Rovers player, not quite, but almost. This is One Football Goats, looking at the greatest teams and players of all time. And today, it's the turn of the man who scores goals for fun, Robert Lewandowski. Now, if there's one thing that Lewandowski is known for these days, it's goal scoring. But has he always been that way? You're damn right he has. Ever since bursting onto the scene as a professional age 18, he became the top goal scorer in the Polish third division. Then, the following season, the top goal scorer in the second division. And following a move to Lech Poznan in the extra classa, Poland's top tier, he spent two seasons there, finishing top goal scorer once and winning the league. So I think it's fair to say, by age 22, he pretty much completed Polish football. Now, with such a meteoric rise in his home country, it's inevitable that a few teams in Europe will be casting an eye over the striker, and one of them was actually Blackburn Rovers. Yes, in an alternate universe somewhere, Lewandowski joined Sam Allardyce's team back in 2010, and the footballing world as we know it is completely and utterly different. Unfortunately for the Lancashire club, though, a volcano in Iceland erupted, stopping all flights to the UK, and Lewandowski never made it over there to complete his medical or sign for the club. I don't want to be the one to say it, but I get the feeling Lewandowski kind of dodged a bullet with that one. So with the move to Jurgen Klopp's Dortmund completed later that summer, Lewandowski took the next step as well, personally completely and utterly dedicating himself to his craft. Even now, after all the players that he has managed, Jurgen Klopp still maintains that Lewandowski is the best player he has ever coached, calling him extraordinary, an absolute machine, and claimed that his work ethic and focus on achieving his goals allowed him to take every step he needed to be that great. I mean, looking back on his time at Dortmund, after a slow start to his first season, Klopp's style of high-pressing, high-intensity attacking football complemented Lewandowski perfectly. I mean, when you're part of the Dortmund team that's knocking Bayern Munich off their perch, winning two back-to-back -back Bundesliga titles, a German Cup, a German Super Cup, you must be doing something right. The fact is though, this domestic success wasn't even his finest moment in a Dortmund kit. His masterpiece was yet to come on a Champions League night against one of Europe's most elite clubs in Real Madrid. That night, Robert Lewandowski became the first player to score four goals in a Champions League semi-final as Dortmund completely and utterly took Real Madrid apart 4-1. It was a goal-scoring masterclass that was never seen before or after at such a high level of elite football. In fact, such was his performance that Florentino Perez, the Real Madrid president, decided that directly after the game, he would go and approach the club about the possibility of bringing Lewandowski to the Bernabeu. With it being common knowledge from a few weeks beforehand, that that he wasn't going to sign a new deal at the club which was running out the following summer. The rumours of a move to Real Madrid actually did resurface later on in his career, but 16 months on from that fateful night and having made it through to the Champions League final where they lost to Bayern, he ended up joining Bayern Munich, the top team in Germany. Lewandowski had another step to make and he absolutely took it. So that kind of begs the question, what do you get when you take one of the best goal scorers and add him to one of the best teams in Europe? Well, apart from a bit of a bitter taste left in Dortmund fans' mouth after he left on a free transfer, you get success, success, and even more goals than you thought possible. In fact, the only downside to Lewandowski's career is that he's been playing during that Messi-Ronaldo era of complete and utter domination from those two, which often takes extraordinary players and makes them look rather ordinary in comparison. Look, we all know how the story goes at Bayern Munich. Lewandowski scores a load of goals, Bayern Munich are insanely successful, and he's got a crazy amount of awards. In fact, he has been the top goal scorer in the Bundesliga for four out of six seasons, with a fifth one most definitely on the way in 2021. But on top of all of this, the year 2020 was for Lewandowski by far one of the most successful from any individual footballer ever. The levels of success here are truly unparalleled. The German Bundesliga won it, top goal scorer. The German Cup won it, top goal scorer. The Champions League, he won it, top goal scorer, and we're not even done there yet. You also add to this UEFA Super Cup, the German Super Cup, and the Club World Cup, meaning that Bayern Munich matched Pep Guardiola's Barcelona of just over a decade ago in winning all six trophies available to them in a calendar year. And to top it all off, although the Ballon d'Or was cancelled rather little hastily, in my opinion, because of the ongoing COVID pandemic, it meant that Robert Lewandowski couldn't take that award, which I'm sure that he would win. He did win FIFA and UEFA Men's Player of the Year award instead, which pretty much confirms that had the Ballon d'Or gone ahead, he probably would have won that too. 
I mean, there's no argument about it. In the last 18 months to even two years, he's been the best player in the world. And on current trajectory, there's probably very few arguments against him winning the Ballon d'Or in 2021 as well. As Lewandowski enters his early 30s, you're probably thinking that Bayern Munich are maybe, maybe going to swap him in for a newer, younger, fitter model. But I really don't think that needs to be the case. I mean, look at the likes of Messi and Ronaldo. You've got Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Karim Benzema. Loads of strikers going well into their 30s and still finding the back of the net on a regular basis. And Lewandowski on top of this is insanely fit, insanely healthy, and is showing absolutely no sign of slowing down. In fact, he's reaching his prime years in his early 30s, so there's no reason to suggest that this kind of success in goal scoring is going to be stopping anytime soon. He's Poland's highest goal scorer of all time, he's the third highest goal scorer in the Champions League, and counting, and in my eyes, he is a complete and utter GOAT, one of the best to ever do it. So that's the latest from our GOAT series. Make sure you check out the other ones and let us know in the comments who you would like to see next. But until next time, I will see you guys later.